Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. And focus your attention on where the breath is clearest. It could be in the movement of the air in the nose. It could be the movement of the chest rising and falling. It could be anywhere in the body. Make sure you pay attention, because just looking at the breath for a few seconds is not going to make much difference in the mind. But if you stay here long periods of time, it will make a difference. We're trying to develop good qualities in the mind. The mind is like a garden. You want to grow flowers, you want to grow vegetables. You've got to be careful what grows in your garden. You don't let weeds come up, because they'll take all the nutrients and the water away from the plants that you really want. You might say, well, weeds are natural, but you can't eat them. You can't get any use out of them. In some cases, they're poisonous. It's the same with the thoughts that come up in the mind. Greed, aversion, and delusion or it can be very natural. There are lots of things out there that would make you greedy, lots of things that would easily give rise to anger or aversion, lots of things to get you deluded. It's all very natural, but it's not really good for the mind. And in some cases, these things are poisonous. You want to develop skillful qualities, skillful thoughts. So we start with something good like this, like the desire to get the mind concentrated, the desire to get the mind centered and still. Because we know that when the mind is centered like this, when it's still like this, it can watch itself carefully, it can see things clearly. So when little sprouts come up in your garden, you recognize them. Okay, these are tomatoes, these are weeds, these are eucalyptus and then you know what to do with them. If you wait until they grow into big plants, well, they've already taken a lot of the nutrients out of the soil. They've taken the water. And if it's eucalyptus, it makes it hard for anything else to grow. In the same way with greed, aversion, and delusion when they come up in the mind. If you wait until they've grown, until you can easily recognize them, or anybody could recognize them, well, they've already taken a lot out of your mind. So you want to make sure you catch them when they're just little tiny sprouts. A little bit of greed, a little bit of anger, it'll come up and it'll say, I, this isn't going to be too serious, just a little bit. But you have to think about where these things are going and what you need. Do you need more weeds in your own mind? You need the kinds of thoughts, thoughts of generosity, thoughts of virtue, thoughts of compassion, goodwill. You need as much of these as you can get. And it's not as if your garden had an infinite amount of space. It's a finite amount of space, finite amount of nutrients, finite amount of water. So you want to make sure that what you do have gets well used. In other words, the energy the mind has gets devoted to qualities of mind that actually give it more and more strength. Conviction and the principle that, yes, your actions really do matter and that you have some control over what you're going to do and say and think. So you want to exercise that control well. That kind of a conviction is something that's really useful. It's one of your tools for getting rid of the weeds. And for making sure that other good things grow inside the mind. So look after your garden here. Make sure that it grows the kinds of plants that are good to look at, plants, flowers that are good to look at, vegetables that are good to eat. Well, there are things that really are useful. And you find that if you treat your garden well, you have more than enough for you to eat. You can share with your friends. Make sure you're not sharing weeds, you're not sharing poisonous plants, you're sharing good things. That way the meditation benefits you and benefits all the people around you.